Hi guys, welcome to today's video and pregnancy update. Today we are 38 weeks as of two days ago. So I'm 38 weeks in two days. Um, pregnant and I am feeling like I am 38 weeks <laughs> in two days pregnant. I just feel like I'm so round. I'm so heavy. I feel like I'm walking like like this even though like my mom says i don't have a wobble and my husband says i don't have a wobble i just feel like <laughs> i just feel like i walk like that especially going upstairs like i feel like walking up the stairs my belly is just hitting my legs or my legs is just hitting my belly or whatever but i just feel like i'm ready to have this baby i'm ready to be unpregnant again. <laughs> the whole cutesy phase of, oh, I just have a cute little bump. I feel like that has gone, that has come and gone. And now we are in the, okay, I got this big old round ball belly and let's get some things going. I got my hair braided um, because, you know, in preparation of just not having to worry about doing my hair, especially like being natural and stuff or like wear my hair curly. Um, I haven't been wanting to spend as much time on it however if y'all know me y'all know i do not do protective styles protective styles so i'm kind of ready to take them out but i'm gonna hold off because then that defeats the whole purpose anyways let's finish talking about this pregnancy update what has been going on so like i mentioned i'm just feeling really pregnant i feel like the days of me being able to just go out and about and you know, still have a lot of energy. I feel like those days have come to an end. Now I just feel like a couch potato. <laughs> I don't really feel like doing much of anything. Um, we went to the fair a couple, not maybe like a week ago. And after that, like my body was like, oh, you're so tired. Like while I was there, I was fine. But I guess like it hit me like the next day, like I just felt so tired. And so ever since, what, 37 weeks, I guess, maybe I was, I was almost 37 weeks when we went, that's when I kind of like decided, all right, I'm retired from all those extra curricular activities that require a whole bunch of walking. But we did go to like a garden um, to walk around and that was fun. But after those two days, cause I think they were like similar, they were like two or three days apart. After that, I was like, all right, I'm done with all these extracurricular activities where I'm walking a whole bunch. I know walking is good and you're supposed to stay active, but I mean, if you have a two-year-old, like I do, you can't really not be active. Like, you cannot be inactive with a two-year-old. You just can't, you know? They always need something, always want to do something. Like, so I'm not just sitting around 24-7 on the couch or anything. You know, I gotta get up, go to the potty, get up, or go outside, get up, okay, you wanna snack, get up, okay, let's go play. So I am up and down, um, but yeah. A couple of things that I mentioned in previous videos is my food and my sleeping um, and any other symptoms. I don't think I have any other symptoms. Anything new outside of the whole sleeping thing for the last couple days i've been sleeping okay i've been sleeping better and i've actually been able to sleep through the night i know i know i didn't wake up well two days i slept through the night i didn't have to wake up to eat a snack i don't know why but it happened <laughs> and so i was able to sleep through the night i still woke up really hungry in the morning but I got, you know, I didn't have those like two or three hours where I'm wide awake in the middle of the night. So, yay for me. Eating wise, I still don't have a big appetite for meat. You know, I'm still eating it. And I'm eating enough to where my body can, you know, be happy that I'm eating some meat. Because I still don't want it. Like, I still want fruit. Fruit, smoothies. Fruit and smoothie me all day. If I could survive on fruit, I would be eating all fruit all the time. But I know it's not practical and I know, you know, my body needs other stuff besides that. Yesterday's when I started like moving on the ball and doing all that stuff to get things going along because my last pregnancy, um, I reached 40 weeks and so, and like there was like no activity. And I know 
just because there's no activity doesn't mean things can't just change instantly or whatever but this time I'm just trying to like do things now so that I'm not waiting until I hit like 40 weeks to start doing stuff or whatever and so like my OB was like yeah go ahead and start you know those natural home remedies of inducing labor and getting labor to you know come on help baby to come on I'm nothing like super out of the ordinary I'm sure if you google like labor exercises or um, exercises to help you know induce labor like just normal stuff like moving on the ball and lunges and squats and stuff like that I did pick up some dates from the store today I don't know how I feel about it. I don't I don't even want to taste them because just looking at them and the texture is kind of cringy to me so <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to eat them like that. I think I'm just going to stick them in a smoothie and blend it up. And hopefully whatever the flavor is does not make me want to puke. <laughs> I haven't been vomiting or anything. But you know, like when you have a new flavor or something and it's like, and it doesn't sit well with you. I don't want to be knowing those weird flavors. And so I plan on putting those in a smoothie because apparently dates are supposed to be good for something about the cervix or something. I haven't done my research all that much on dates I just seen that they're part of that whole preparation for labor I got my hospital bag kind of packed but it's so cute though I got the cutest bag let me show y'all my bag because it is so cute it is so adorable oh my goodness it looks like a giant purse but it is so cute I freaking love it I need to take the tags and stuff off but so freaking cute because last time i just used like my regular duffel bag that i use when we travel or whatever but i wanted something like super cute and that is like super cute so i'm excited to use that and i can still use it for like travel or whatever so the baby stuff washed i washed everything um there's a lot of isabella's clothes that i need to go through honestly i probably won't even get to it before she gets here just depends but it's it's on the list but it's not like super high because we do have a lot of new stuff to use and honestly a lot of Isabella's newborn stuff like she didn't have a whole bunch of newborn stuff because I think when we had her we figured oh we don't need a bunch of newborn stuff because she because like newborns aren't that small and you can use zero to three months or something and so I think we had to go out like the same week to get more newborn stuff because we just didn't have it. We had a whole bunch of zero to three months. As far as the nursery goes, it's pretty much done. Um, we do have like, you know, like the little bouncer thing that needs to be put back together. Not the bouncer, but just like the thing that you lay the baby in. Crib sheets are washed. We put together her dresser. I don't know why they make furniture nowadays where everything you got put together yourself in like 5,000 gazillion pieces but we got it didn't have any reviews online but it was like the only one that I saw that kind of fit my vision on what I wanted to look like there was one that I found but it had terrible reviews and so after I saw that one it didn't have any reviews but it fit the vision of what I wanted to look like in the nursery so we got it and it looks so good my husband and I have still not 100% agreed on a name. I don't know when we're going to agree on a name, like, but we're still kind of like eh, teetering between two names. Um, so we're still working on that. Everything has pretty much been the same. We're just waiting on baby's arrival and kind of just coasting along. So I'll show you guys a bump shot. I'm not changing from my brown bump suit today. I know I said I was gonna keep the white one on to keep it consistently, to keep it consistent, but I don't even know where it is. I gotta find it. <laughs> so I'll show, show y'all the bump shots and that will conclude this pregnancy update. And my next update you should see will be that of the arrival of baby girl. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Here is the belly. Don't mind my dead plant back there. I haven't taken it to the trash yet, but...